Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie, and welcome to my yarn room. Today, I want to talk about yarn, of course. <laughs> but more specifically, not just yarn, I want to talk about the sizes of yarn. Um, for anybody new uh, getting into a yarn craft, this might be a good thing for you. It's how to, not really how to, just <sighs> don't know how I want to say it. <laughs> okay. The labels that are on yarn sometimes are not right. Get to know your yarn and other yarns before you start a project. This is why. This is... Lion Brand Summer Nights. It's kind of messed up. <laughs> okay. You see how thin that yarn is? It's really thin. Almost like sewing thread. Okay. This says that it's a number one. Okay. But hold on. This is Red Heart Amagurumi. It also says it's a number one. Now let's do them together. My fingers don't want to work right. There is a big difference between those two yarns. This one, okay, the pink one is the uh, Lion Brand Summer Nights, number one. This one is the Red Heart Amagurumi, number one. Huge difference. Got a couple more examples. Okay. This I got in a Mary Maxim um, crochet kit of the month. This is a yarn from a company called Gina. Uh, J-I-N-A. I've never heard of the company. I've looked I can't find this yarn nowhere for me to buy. It is a uh, Peruvian alpaca. This says that it's a number four. That don't look like a number four to me. To me, that looks like not a number five. Because I have this is a standard number four. This is from a Lion Brand Pound of Love. It to me is a standard number four. Now let's do a side by side on them. See what I mean? This one is the Lion Brand Pound of Love. This one is the Peruvian Alpaca. Yeah. The 
Red Heart Amigurumi is the same size as a number three Lion Brand Mandala um, acrylic. The exact same size. So, don't don't always pay attention to your labels. Get to know your yarn. Get to know the different sizes of different yarns. This is for a beginner. By the way, this beautiful top that I am wearing, I made this from crochet, of course. <laughs> Um, but this is not my pattern. This pattern belongs to Crystal at Bag O Day. Go check her out. She is awesome. Awesome. Been doing this for God Almighty many years on YouTube. She has got over a thousand tutorials. I watch her all the time. <laughs> She's helped me a lot. <laughs> but that that's basically all I wanted to talk about today is don't trust the labels on your yarn. Compare it to other yarns. Because not all number fours are the same. Not all number twos or threes or any of them. Compare it to other yarns. See which one you like the best. Also, there are three basic types of yarn. You have your, um, your synthetics, like your acrylics. You have your animal yarns, like your wools and alpaca. <laughs> and you also have your plant-based yarns, like cotton. Just play around with it. It took me a long time very long time to understand that not all yarns the same you got different textures and i'm talking like in your acrylic just a hundred percent acrylics different ones feel different than others um and if anybody out there has got sensitivity issues, like with their hands and can't touch certain things, or uh, rough items might bother their skin, pay attention to that, because there are some yarns out there that I know for a fact, one person on YouTube that I follow, um, she has sensitivity issues with her hands, and... She cannot use Red Heart Super Saver. It, it's a rougher yarn. So, she has to do other yarns. Just have fun with your yarn. Touch it. Play with it. Squeeze it. Smell it. <laughs> I love yarn, so... I do all that. If a yarn does not have what I like to call squishability, I don't really like it. There are some value yarns that I absolutely love. And used to not like them because they were made in China and they were rough. Very rough. Now, they're not made in China anymore. I can't remember where they're made. But anyway, now they're soft. 
and that is the, um, I think it's Value Smart at Michael's. It's a very reasonable priced yarn, and it's a good yarn. All right, well, I think that'll be all for tonight. I'm filming this at, um, Lord, it's probably about 12 o'clock on Tuesday night, well, Wednesday morning. <laughs> Son, it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> so, I'm going to upload this and it'll be ready to view Wednesday morning, probably when you wake up. All right, y'all have a great day tomorrow. It's supposed to be pretty. I'm, I'm here in Virginia in the United States. We are having some really, really beautiful days. I hope it keeps up. <laughs> Who knows? All right. I'll see you when I see you. Bye, y'all.